In our last episode, we learned how to create a module and a package. In this episode, we will be learning how to take that package that we created, the MyMath package, and make it into something that we can upload to the Python package index, also known as PyPy. Most packages in Python can be found on the Python package index. So like SQL Alchemy can be found there, and LXML, and many, many hundreds or thousands of others can be found there. They are also found on GitHub and Bitbucket and many other locations. But the Python package and index is kind of a central repository where you'll find the vast majority of the popular ones. So anyway, we need to learn how to take this package that we created and turn it into a package that can be uploaded to the Python package and index. So the first thing we have to do is create a setup.py file. So we'll start there. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a new file. And we'll just create a little setup file. So from disk to utils core, we're going to import setup. Let's go ahead and save this before we get too far along. And let's go ahead and put it in my math for now. We might move it later. <clears throat> All right, so we have setup.py. The next thing we want to do is call setup and tell it what the name of our module or package is. In this case, it's MyMath. Give it a version, 0.1. And what are the packages that are in it? So in this case, we have MyMath, which is a top level package. We actually have a sub package inside of it, MyMath.advanced. Let's look again at our structure here. So in the MyMath folder, and inside of that, we have the advanced folder. So those are the two that we want to include in our package that we'll upload to PyPy. All right, comma, and close. So this is a pretty basic version, and then basically gives you the idea of how to create a setup.py file. Usually to upload to PyPy, you're gonna need a lot more information. Well, not, not a lot. Just a little bit more, probably twice as much. So let's go ahead and update this to what we actually need. So we have this part. We probably want a description. In this case, I'm going to call it a silly math package because it really doesn't do a whole lot. All right. Most people want to know who authored the project. So I'll put my name in there. And we want to have the author's email. This is just going to be a made up email. But you should use your real email in this if you're going to, to do this for real. Then we have a URL. And a lot of people, you know, this would be hosted on GitHub. But some people have their own domain. So we pretend that we have our own domain, even though we don't right now. and the rest is the same. So now we have a lot more information and this becomes a vet, this could become a valid PyPy installation. Now that we're done with this, we should test our script. Um, we could create a virtual environment using the directions from episode 35, or you could just install your code to your Python installation by it calling the following command, which would be python setup.py install. Right. So what we need to do is copy this setup.py that we created, and we actually need it up one level. So we'll go back up and we'll put it back in code. So now we should have a setup.py in here, which we do. And now we just need a terminal, which I'll bring over here. And now let's cd into our documents folder and our code folder. And I'm going to go ahead and call setup.py right there. And I'm just going to try installing it directly to my to my folder. Now, since we're on a Linux type environment, we really do need to call sudo. So let's fix that real quick and see if this works. All right. So I ran through, byte com com copied the files, byte compiled them, 
in create did an egg info and it looks like it wrote wrote it all out the way it's supposed to to this location. So I think it installed correctly. One way to find out is to go, to go into Python and to see if we can import it. And we can. So that installed correctly and our package is easy to use. So let's look at how to register a package with PyPy. Okay, to register a package with PyPy is actually quite easy. Since this is your first package, you'll want to register with the test PyPy server instead of the real one, just to make sure you, you can do it the right way. You may need to create what's called a PyPyRC file. We're actually going to look at that in just a little bit. But to register it, we just need to type a little command. So let's get out of Python. And normally you just call Python and you set up.py file and the word register. We're not actually going to run this yet because I don't have everything set up. But if you did have everything set up, this is all you'd have to do to register your package. It'll do it all for you pretty much. So let's go ahead and go on and look at how to upload packages to PyPy because that's going to give us all the information we need. So we just need to create another file. And that's what we'll look at next. All right, for those of you who don't know, PyPy's test server is currently at a very simple location. I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So this is their current uh, test PyPy website. So we actually need to uh, create a little bit of a file to be able to do this. So let's create kind of a config file. And so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about and what you need to do. So we'll just go ahead and open up uh, Python. I'm just going to show you some code, or actually some configuration stuff. Oops, go back. Yeah. Anyway, so this is this is kind of the configuration you need to set up. You have your index servers set to PyPy test, your test repository URL. The username, which could be Richard or Mike or whatever, a password for your test server, and then your password for the real server, which happens to be pypy.python.org. Again, you'd have a username and your password. So you, it's up to you if you want to do your same password or not. I don't recommend it, but you can do it. Uh, you probably want to go read the documentation in depth to understand all the options that you can add to this config file, because there are a lot that you can do. But once you have this all set up, then you go back to your terminal, and we can do some, I can show you the command that you would run. So normally you would run python setup.py sdist, and then if you're on Windows, you do bdist uh, winnst, and then upload. And the reason you do win it, this winnst one, is you want to create a Windows installer if you actually support Windows. If you don't, uh, you can do, you can just go with sdisk, which will create an archive file. And if you're on Windows, it'll create a zip file. And if you're on Linux or Mac, it might, it'll create a tarball. So the upload will actually upload all of these files, those two fi installer files, up onto PyPy. And if you have your stuff set up correctly, it'll go to the, the test server. One more thing I want to show you. Is a quick little helpful command, and it is the help command. So this will give you all the command, all the commands you can pass to your particular script. You know, setup.py script. You got build. Well, I'm not going to go through this one by one. You guys can read this and check it out yourself and figure out what they all do. It's pretty pretty obvious, but I recommend going through that and then going through the documentation. So at this point, you should have the basics for adding your package to the Python packaging index. If you want to add a Python egg to PyPy, you will need to use easy install instead of dist utils. Then when you release your next version, you may want to add a changes.txt file that lists the changes to your code. Uh, there is a really good website called the Hitchhiker's Guide to Packaging, which would be a great place to start uh, if you want to check out for additional information on this exciting topic. 
Alternatively, you may want to check out uh, other tutorials on the web. There's a really good one by Scott Tarborg that I've used before to get myself started. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.